briefly about Vivian. All right. So Vivian is uh, Vivian Boatin is the name. I'm the CEO of Vivi's Dance Factory, which is a dance and drama school for children and young people, where we empower children to become well-rounded individuals um, through the arts. I'm a ballet certified teacher with America Ballet Theatre. I'm also an acrobatic arts certified teacher. Um, I'm a performer, I am a director. I graduated from the University of Ghana School of Performing Arts in theatre directing. So that's also something I do. Uh, yeah. You're welcome to the East Legon studio of Vivi's Dance Factory. Now let's go and take a tour. Here we have Studio One, uh, where we do most of our ballet classes. So at Vivi's Dance Factory, we have um, different activities that we offer. So we have ballet, we have hip hop, we have acrobatics, we have contemporary dance, African dance and drumming, and we have drama and musical theater. We also have Taekwondo, yes. So there's something for everyone. And in our Studio One, you can see we have the ballet bar. And just to mention that we are certified with American Ballet Theatre for pre-primary to level three. So our students get to take exams, that's if they want to. And then we have those also who want to just come in as a recreational activity. So yes, we have a space for those who want to just come in to do dance for fun, and also those who want to take it like as a profession. So why did I decide to start a dance school? Or well, this came, um, or well, this decision came when I realized um, that we need, we uh, we have a lot of talented children in Ghana, but we didn't have any creative space where these children can harness these talents um, and build it to a professional level. So that's one aspect of it. The other aspect is that you know the creative arts is one area that children can build discipline, can learn empathy, can learn to build your confidence and fully express themselves. And I wanted that for our children in Ghana. I wanted children to enter a space where they can learn life skills through dance. And these are the things that dance teaches you. And not just dance, but drama as well. How to speak, how to present yourself. And I knew that we needed it so much in Ghana. You know how. Children learn through play, and that's what creative arts does. So that's why I decided to do this. So, so here is our waiting area. Um, I also call it the reading room, where students who are waiting for their class sit and read or do their homework. We have parents also waiting here for their children. I believe so much in education, so any opportunity to get children engaged in reading, I always make sure I make that provision. So what age do we um, start training children right from 18 months we, be, we believe children have the ability you know to um, explore creatively as, and to coordinate their body and their minds so 18 months to 17 years we have the academy um, for these ages and we also have adult classes so I'll say because dance is for everyone so we cover all the dance for all the ages we have something for adults to um, who want to come in, learn how to dance, and learn how to, you know, stay fit through dance. So that, there's something for everyone. All right, so I'm going to tell you three important things you'll find in the ballet class. Shoes, your ballet flats, is one of the tools that a ballerina will need in, in training. And we have the point shoes, I'll come to this later. And then we have the ballet bar where we stand, you know, dancers stand to you know, exercise, to do the bar work. So in ballet, we have the bar work, we have the center exercises, we have across the floor. Now, the ballet bar is for ch children from age eight and above. Um, again, because we train with, so other studios can be different, but because we, we are certified with American Ballet Theater, it's recommended that for a healthy dancer, you, have, you don't you know, put children below age eight at the bar. And then we have the mirror also to help in posture, um, alignment and all that, because we deal a lot with posture. Now, coming to the ballet shoes. So this is a regular ballet shoe that you find, you know, professionals, students, starting from beginner level, 
all the way to the advanced level working in right. so when you're in your ballet flats this is the level you get to your demi point we don't go on our point in our ballet flats now let me come straight to our point shoes this is not for fun this is serious business and for someone to be in point shoes the person should be training at least three times in a week the person should have at least trained for two to three years in a professional environment to go on point and you need a professional teacher to test you to see to know, to, to show that you are ready for point sometimes i receive calls from parents or you know messages from social media uh, do you sell point shoes it's not just like one something you go to the shop and buy and then you start wearing you have to even test you know there are processes you have to test to see if what what is the right fit for you now this is one point shoe that cecilia i lease you um, from pacific northwest ballet came um came to ghana to take, take our teachers through training and she left this so it's not my size um, but i'm just using it as a demonstration so sometimes you get into a ballet um, or you see children again doing ballet and they are forcing themselves to go you know on point but you need to have built the muscles and the strength to go on point like i said it's a serious business it is not for fun and so um teachers shouldn't force their children to go on point because it is nice it looks easy it is not easy and you end up hurting the child's spine or their knees for the rest of their lives so we have to teach ballet safely and you need to be responsible to get a point shoe. So I think um, in 2021 we had the greatest honor um, of performing at the Millennium Excellence Awards at Mencia Palace before Otunfo and um, the President of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adodan Kwai Kufuado. And these are some of the wonderful achievements that um, we, we enjoy. One, it's also a great exposure for our students. Again, it's building confidence because that's something we always want to, you know, get our students to achieve. When they get to perform before an audience, they, it builds their confidence. This exposure is something that will go down in history and it's something they can put on their CV. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, these are moments that we cherish, um, getting to perform at such a high profile event. So at Vivi's Dance Factory, we are very intentional about what we teach. We are not just teaching dance for dance sake or art for art sake, but we want to add value to every student that comes into our space. So we are teaching them creative um, life skills and social skills through dance and through the creative arts. And that's why we have these values that we project up here. For value for self and others. So the v VDF, the V stands for value for self and others. It's more like love your neighbor as yourself, right? If you have value for yourself, you have value for others. So mutual respect. And that shows through our classes. When you have students coming in, they line up neatly at the door. The teacher lets them in, they go into their spaces, they greet the teacher and then the teacher responds. Or the teacher greets them and then they respond. So good morning Miss uh, Class and then good morning Miss Vivi or good morning Miss Cherry. And that respect and mutual respect for one another. At the end of the class, say thank you class and then respond thank you Miss Vivi or thank you Miss Cherry. That is teaching them how to respect one another in every space they find themselves. We also start have D for discipline. Without discipline, you cannot go far. And there's discipline in everything we do in the dance class or in the art class. So when you come in, you have to be disciplined. You, have to, we, you don't just do anything anyhow. You have to strive for excellence. And that's what we teach at Vinny's Dance Factory. And F for focus. You know, a wavering mind can never <laughs> achieve anything. We need to teach our young people to be stay focused, right? Sometimes you do one thing and then, ah, once it gets difficult, oh, I want to do something else. But teaching them to stay focused and stay through an activity until they achieve their aim is something we teach here at Vivi's Dance Factory. So this is supposed to remind us, us and our students of what we stand for. So welcome to our acro tent. This is where we have our acro 
classes, uh, hip hop and contemporary dance class. Our senior dance company also rehearses here because it's so far the biggest space we have in this compound. And we have an acro tent, an acro mat, which we lay down to make sure that students are safe. Safety is key when it comes to this dance factory. So we want to make sure that we are building healthy dancers who can do this for a long time and won't end up having casualties. Dance requires space, space, space. And so far the spaces we have are small. So we are trying to build um, another, you know, second tent out here. And that's why these woods are here. Um, so that we can have, you know, 20 or more um, dancers in one space. So um, we are getting ready to build it. I'll show, you, I'll show it to you the next time you come. <laughs> I'm hoping it will be ready. Yeah. And in this grass, we hold our performances as well. So we mount a stage here and then we do performances. We also have monthly folklore sessions. You know, we are in Ghana, we are Ghanaians. I'm a proud Ghanaian and our identity is key. And so again, at Vivi's Dance Factory, we hold folklore clubs every month where we tell Anansi stories, where we tell of our culture, our tradition through games, through singing, through storytelling. It's always a fun moment here. Once every month, um, we bring students from the school performing arts to tell Anansi stories and we share in, um, in our Ghanaian culture with our students. So yeah, that's what we do here. Vivi's Dance Factory is your go-to studio if you're looking for a professional space where your, your, your child can learn ballet, hip-hop, acrobatic arts, any dance style that you can think of, and also drama and musical theatre. If you want to build your child's confidence and help them to fully express themselves, this is your go-to place. And to contact us, you um, send us a WhatsApp or call us on 0242 153 You can also follow us on Instagram on Vivi's Dance underscore Factory. Or just type Vivi's Dance Factory and we will pop up. We're looking forward to seeing you at our studio soon. Come and fully express yourself with us.